So ever since I mentioned that I began heat sealing my LEGO BrickLink order packages, I've been getting a lot of questions on how I do this. For those that don't know what heat sealing is, heat sealing is just taking a bag and sealing the bag with heat without using tape or a ziplock or any kind of material like that. To make a seal like this, you use a machine called a heat sealer. There are probably thousands of different heat sealers in the world, but this is the one that I use. It is the seal -a meal 3000. Just kidding, I made that up. It is a seal -a meal though, and actually the main purpose of this seal -a meal is not just to heat seal Lego packages. It is actually to seal food products such as meat for vacuum sealer sealing for easy storage in freezers. My dad and my mom use this seal -a meal for their food products to store their meats and stuff so they don't go bad. They use the vacuum sealing feature, but for me just shipping my LEGO packages, I don't use that feature and I'm not going to show you that feature in this video. Here's everything you need to get started. You need plastic baggies, and you can buy bags online or you can just use the free LEGO set bags. They come in pretty much every set, and they come in many different sizes from small to medium to really large bags. I keep them all. Once you've chosen a bag, you fill it with the Lego pieces you need. So I'm going to use all my tan tiles. I then take my time to smooth out the bag and make sure all the parts are pretty evenly distributed. Because in here in Canada we actually have a limit to how tall our packages can be. So I pack packages accordingly to get the cheapest shipping price for the buyer. But when I do this little packing thing I have to make sure that I leave quite a bit of a gap here at the top for the heat seal. Next I bring my heat sealer over. Oh, it's plugged in. I get it all ready and nice to set up, and I leave this set up in a Lego room all the time. Next, I grab my package. Because I'm not shipping this package anywhere, I'm not going to worry about how even it is. I pull up the little flap here, stick my package underneath, but I do not put the plastic here in the white part. I set it down nice and gently, and I press here like constructed. wait several seconds until a green light comes on and then I take my hands off and when the red light turns off and all the noise stops being created when the red light is off I know to open my package and I know that it's heat sealed there my package has been fully sealed now the seal is very durable the plastic is very durable this is what Lego ships their parts in so why can't you ship their your parts in it if you have any further questions about my Seal Meal heat sealer, please leave them down in the comments below. You can pretty much get any heat sealer that will do the job. They range from, you know, 20 probably dollars to a couple hundred dollars. And you can either get just a heat sealer for packages or the Seal Meal. The Seal Meal does take a little bit longer to seal the packages than a normal heat sealer. But because I was splitting this cost with my parents because I knew they were going to use it too, I thought this was the better alternative because it also does the vacuum sealing and I know some BrickLink sellers do want the vacuum seal. If you enjoyed this LEGO related video please check out my YouTube channel BrickLover18 here on YouTube where I post LEGO related videos. Thanks everybody for watching I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video share this video with your friends and of course subscribe. Thanks everybody for watching have a great day. Don't forget to check out my channel.